So, I've learned about the immune system and what happens when HIV enters the body. Can you now explain to me about ARVs? The nurse said that my viral load is 6,000 copies and that I have to start taking tablets and that I will take them for the rest of my life. So this is what you have to know. ARV stands for antiretroviral medicine. This means a medicine which works against the HIV virus. Without treatment, HIV will damage the warriors or CD4 cells, meaning the immune system gets weak and can't fight off infections. So someone living with HIV who is not on treatment will get sicker and sicker and develop AIDS. But the good news is, we now have ARVs. ARVs control HIV by stopping it from multiplying in the CD4 cells. If HIV can't multiply, the amount of HIV or viral load becomes less. The goal is for the viral load to become undetectable, meaning that it can be seen in the blood in laboratory tests. When the viral load is undetectable, the CD4 cells are protected, so the number of CD4 cells gets higher. Mm. So will these ARVs get rid of the HIV completely? That's a very good question. The ARVs do a great job of controlling HIV if they are taken as prescribed every day, but they cannot get rid of it completely. They are not a cure, but there are people working on this all around the world, and we hope one day to have a cure. So Tanaka, you mean I have to take these ARVs for the rest of my life? Exactly. Your job is to keep the HIV under control. At the moment, your viral load is 6,000, but your goal is for your viral load to be completely undetectable. When you take your medicines daily and go to clinic regularly to monitor your health and get your medicines, we call that adherence. What do you think? You got me wondering, what will happen if I stop taking them? Can you show me using the cards? What do you think will happen? If I stop taking my tablets, there will be no control over the HIV, so the virus will start multiplying and my viral load will increase. The HIV virus will start damaging the warriors again and my CD4 count will go down and infections will come. That's right. When you don't take ARVs properly, HIV takes a chance to get even stronger. Sometimes it can change or mutate so that it's not affected by the ARVs. It becomes resistant to them. So even if you are taking the ARVs again, they won't be able to control the HIV and you have to find new medicine for it. When someone starts ARVs, they start on first line, the first combination of medicines used for HIV. But when HIV becomes resistant to those first line medicines, different medicines are needed. We call this second line and third line medicines. So yes, it is really important you take your ARVs for the rest of your life. But things are getting better. I used to have a lot of different tablets twice a day, but now I just take one tablet once a day. So it's really not that bad. You have to remember to take them. You need lots of help from your family so that you don't forget. And that's why I'm also here to help you remember. I understand exactly what it is like so I can help you. What do you think? I do understand. But Ash, the idea of taking them every day is difficult. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. Can we talk about some of the reasons why you might find it difficult? Well, I think I'll find it hard to remember. My mom goes to work early, so she may not be around to remind me. And also, she's the only one who knows my HIV status at home. I hide my tablets so that no one else finds out. Yes, it is tricky. You have thought of two really important issues. Firstly, you may find it difficult to remember, particularly if your mom is not around to remind you. The second thing, you will have to hide your ARV so others don't find out your status. Let's think about what might help you with these things. Can you think of something that could help you with remembering to take your medication? Mm, I have a phone so I could set my alarm. That's a great idea. Try setting your alarm for the same time each day because then it also becomes a routine. When do you think would be the best time? Probably when I brush my teeth before school. So that's about 6 a.m. Okay, great. So that's one solution. Then of course, I can send you reminders to your phone. I won't mention ARVs in case someone picks up your phone and reads the message. I'll just say, please don't forget. Then you also say that at times you have to hide your medicines yeah, so that no one finds out. How do you think you can do that in a safe way? I think I will have to ask my mom. She knows best. Okay, Tonde. So you have some things you can try. Let's see how you get on with this and we can discuss how it's going when I see you next. 
The important thing to remember is that you are in control and can control HIV if you take your medicines well. If you have other questions you think of, you can always message me or we can talk next time I come. How's that? Yes, I'm sure I will have more questions next time. Well, for today, I think we've covered so much. When shall I come again? Mm, can you come on Wednesday after school? That's fine. I'll come then. Then we can discuss other questions you have and I'll also tell you more about the medicines and give you some ideas on how to help you with adherence. I would also love to see you explain what you know about HIV and how it affects the body and the importance of adherence. If you'd like to meet other people your age who also take ARVs, I can help arrange that too. So let's talk about that next time. Okay, see you next week then. Great, see you then.